One block away from the Galveston Seawall, students from the Houston Community College STEM Summer Camp Program got up close and personal with an endangered species. The NOAA National Marine Fisheries and Restoration Center gave area high school 10th and 11th graders a chance to view dozens of sea turtles in a controlled environment. Since they're collected when they are hatchlings, the day that they hatch out, um, they're going to see different size classes. When I say different size classes, since this is a research facility, they are all raised at the same rate. Uh, they're fed at the same time, um, they're fed the same amount, they're weighed and measured every month because we want them to grow as research subjects. They're not harmed in any way, um, so the students are going to get to see that as well as hear about it. It's really cool, you know, I never saw like wildlife in little tanks like these. Uh, I've always seen them in aquariums, like swimming around, and it's really, it's really a different perspective on things. I mean, it's interesting how they're using these animals to research and try to figure out the ways they all live in different habitats and how they survive because it's really important to have these kind of animals in our society. So. They learned about the turtle's biology and the science used in preserving them. Being a scientist, you have to be multidisciplinary. You just can't want to do conservation. You've got to bring in mathematics, chemistry. Um, I actually have a graduate degree as well uh, with a minor in GIS. So you have to bring all different fields together to be able to work on a project. It's, you can't be so specific. Like, I would really love just to study green turtle foraging ecology but I have to take in all different things to make a difference. Um, so students have to be aware of that. Um, it, I think marine biology is pretty cool, but I, like, I never thought about going actually into the field, but this has kind of like opened up like what it's actually like. So it's an option. Reporting for The Right Click, this is Chris Elliott.